Mike. Hi, Eddie. How do you like my new boy, Kid Nino? Isn't he pretty? Doesn't he move pretty? Sure, just like all your fighters, Eddie. All right, kid, shadow box around. I'm showing you off to a friend. Isn't he beautiful? Isn't he lovely? Look at the way he moves. Sure, he's great, Eddie. But the night he fights his big fight, he won't be able to punch his way out of a paper bag. Why not, Mike? He'll sell them out like you sold out all the others. Not this one, Mike. Wait until the odds build up, until you can't resist. No, Mike. When does he go? Tomorrow night, main bout. He's a winner, so it'll be short money. Bet all you can. Bet your shirt. It'd pay more if he lost. You sure he isn't going to lay down and die? On my word, Mike. Well, that's the kind of a bet I like. Thanks a lot. Oh. What I really came over for was to find out what you know about a kid that used to fight under the name of Lee Kowalski. What about him? <laughs> oh, come on, don't give me that. You've been around, you know just about everybody. About him, I don't know. He was killed in an accident, but it wasn't really an accident. Two fellas, they came in here. Charlie Max and Sugar Smallhouse. They asked me if anybody come around asking questions about Lee Kowalski, what do I know? I looked at their faces, you know what I said? I said, I don't know anything. They said to keep that in mind, and they'd make it worth my while. You can sell the gold out of your mother's teeth. OK, how much do they give you? I'll top it. You can't top this. They said they'd let me breathe. <laughs> My camera's calling. Hello, Pat. What do you know about a couple of nice fellows named Charlie Max and Sugar Smallhouse? Oh, never mind what I know. All you have to tell me is whose whistle they jumped to. Carl Evelo. Yeah? Yeah? Go ahead, I can hear you. Yeah? 